Crazy YouTube nerds, again me, back from China and uh, doing some demos. Um, I'm doing some flanger stuff because people said show me the flangers. So there's the more spark flanger which we're looking at, and um, I thought, well, you know, if you're looking at that, let's look at the real deal. You know, the big Kahuna, and also. Some other ones, so we're gonna do a comparison video. But the big Kahuna is, of course, the Strymon Orbit, which I'm very, very happy I got from Strymon for doing some translations for them. And I need to pick another pedal. And usually, a flanger for most of us is not like the pedal we want to get because that's a little bit, you know, outside of the range of useful sounds. Let's put it that way. Wrong. Unless you have a really good one. You don't think you need a flanger. 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 
this thing is, uh, okay? I mean, if you talk to people and you say, well, you know, what's the Strymon orbit like? And then you just say, uh, okay? So, uh, unless you've played this thing, don't go around telling your friends no one needs a flanger. Flanger. Okay. So, um, what is a flanger flanger of Linger Flunger? Some history. At least what I've been taught in school. Which is a good school, so shut the fuck up. Um, back in the day, we had tape. I don't know if you young people remember that. That's like that magnetic thing on a reel. Okay, so you had two reels. One reel tape was coming off, going onto the other reel at a certain speed. If you put your hand on one of the reels, you could control the speed and kind of slow down the motors, probably breaking them in the process. And therefore changing the speed that the sound was being played at. And um, that was that sound. Now the plastic case that the tape was on is called a flange. So, hence the name flanging. Flanging? Flinger flanging. I think it's flanging because it's not called a flange, it's, it's a flange. So, um, let's talk about a couple of things about flanging. It is a whirly, whooshy, swooshy sound. That's a technical term. Look it up. Whirly, whooshy, swooshy sound. And like many modulation pedals, it's using an LFO. A what? Yeah, you've heard the name LFO and you see things like speed and depth and all this stuff. What does it mean? LFO means low frequency oscillator. An oscillator is something that wiggles back and forth, usually sound. If it's in the audible range, which is technically from 20 hertz to 20 kilohertz, for m many of us, that's actually not true. Let's say 440 hertz, that's an A. Well, that string wiggles back and forth at 440 wiggles, <laughs> you know, cycles a second, which means we will hear an A. A low-frequency oscillator wiggles back and forth at speeds that are way lower, like 1 hertz, which is 1 cycle per second, or even lower than that, or maybe a little bit faster, but definitely in speeds that you cannot hear, that they don't produce actual audible sound, except maybe for elephants. And um, we can use this signal that goes back and forth in a certain shape. Uh, usually it's a sine wave. It could also be a square wave, which means on and off, technically. Um, it could be a saw wave. So it's like, bow, bow, bow. Okay? But usually it's a sine wave or maybe a triangle. We can use that signal to control something. Now let's say um, I wanted to control this mix knob right here with an LFO, a low frequency oscillator. What it would do is I set a certain speed and it would pretty much do this. It would go turn this knob up and down and up and down and up and down and up and down. Okay? Now, this is what an LFO on a modulation pedal does. A phaser, for example, will move, as far as I understand, the original sound and the, you know, phase sound, or uh, two guitar sounds next to each other, out of phase, in phase, something like that. That's why it's called a phaser. Um, so, the speed will control the speed of your sine wave, meaning, go, does it go... Or does it go... Okay, how fast is it? The depth, which in this case I don't really have, is that width in this case? Uh, maybe. Good question here. Regeneration. I'm thinking this is probably... But I have my manual here because... Uh, depth. Uh, the LFO width. Okay, so I'm going to go with that is depth. Right. Okay. Um, is pretty much how high is the wave. And here on the orbit, we have a 
whole bunch of other controls, which is awesome. Let's ignore the switches for now. We have a mix, which many flanges really just have. The whole signal is flanged and that's it. Here, if you have a totally mega drastic setting, but you, you like it, but it's just too much on top of the guitar signal, you can actually mix it in with the normal signal. So this is a very cool control. Regeneration on other flanges will be seen as uh, feedback. Okay, so um, that is something that is called feedback or regeneration. And then manual, which I don't quite know why that's called manual, kind of sets the frequency range that your flanger acts in. So does it flange the high frequencies or does it flange the low frequencies? Um, very useful knob. Um, depending, wait, it says something here. La, 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 la. Uh, easily, most easily heard with lower width and higher regeneration settings. So we got to go low width, high regeneration, and then we can hear what we do here. Remember that. Remind me when we get to that point. Okay. So um, the speed, of course, we talked about. Then this has a bypass and it has a favorite switch, which we get to. That's very cool. Pretty much you can just save any setting and then switch to you between your saved setting and your current setting that you have set up on the flanger. Uh, all Strymon pedals work with uh, a favorite switch, except the big ones, because they, of course, uh, can save things in presets. And there's an extra switch which can fulfill that function. Um, but you have to buy it separate for the other pedals. On this one, you don't need tap tempo. So they just said, hey, we can put another switch there, so we'll put favorite on there. They could have said, we don't put a second switch there. We sell you the favorite switch, but Strymon's cool. Hi, Pete. Um, and uh, they didn't do that. By the way, before you know, when we're saying hi, Pete, hi, everyone at Strymon. And hi, people in England, Chris and Simon from Music Psych, who uh, I've worked with on the manual translations and who were, who were kind enough to give me this pedal. So it has stereo out, which is awesome. And it has an expression pedal in, which means if you use an expression pedal for your foot, you could control any of these parameters with your foot. So if you wanted the speed knob to be controlled on stage with a foot, you could do this. Here's a little trick, which I saw on the Striving website. You don't need an expression pedal. You can use any volume pedal and just use an insert cable. Stereo, tip ring sleeve, to two mono, plug it into your volume pedal and it works as an ex expression pedal with these great Great, great little trick. So, and then we get to feedback and LFO. Whoa. <laughs> so feedback can be positive, negative, or positive and negative, and LFO could be logarithmic, linear, or through the zero. <laughs> Whatever that means. Um, I guess we'll just listen to it when we actually listen to it. Let's talk about the setup quickly. Um, PRS SC250, very nice guitar, which can be split in the back, and I'm using that right now. Um, in the middle position, split in the back, gives you a really nice, spanky, clean sound. <laughs> Um, that is going directly into the orbit. I have it in front of the drive. There's a big discussion where do you put your flanger or your chorus or your phaser. You can put them before the drive or after the drive. It will result in a slightly different sound. Obviously, because if you're flanging something that's driven, something that's overdriven or distorted, there are there's different kind of frequency content to be flanged. But if you put it in front of it, this clean flange frequency content gets distorted, which will result in different sounds. Um, it is going into the Jeddah Gold standard, which has uh, two different drive options and can be stacked, which you will hear. And that's going into the Strymon timeline for some delay for some fun later. Right now I've got it set to a st standard tape delay. <laughs> Okay, and that is uh, then going into the Sura Badger. Sura Badger 18, which is going into the basement in an Ignator 112 cab, mic with an SM57 and an ex inexpensive T-Bone ribbon, ribbon mic, uh, RM or RB, don't ask me, 140, 144. 
very inexpensive. Uh, coming through a patch bay up here, through a <laughs> stage box, uh, up here into uh, the Universal Audio 4710D preamp, going into a Fireface 800 through light pipe into Cubase 7.5. Good. So, we're going to go and, you know, do some stuff straight up, maybe mix up, and see what the standard flange sound is that we can get out of this puppy. very nicely hear the wave going up and down. Okay, so let's play with the speed at this setting. There's no way I can show you any kind of setting on this. It, they are, the options are there's too many things. I can only show you some cool sounds. Goes rather fast there. And like, whoa, like a, you know, rubber ball. Let's see if we can actually make that sound work for us. Less width. I can't say that. DTH. Width. 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 Tough with lisp. Okay, you can break your sound with this pedal. not horrible but of course a little bit too fast wobbly sounds it can do wobbly or they call it watery but watery is actually we're still on you know those two knobs are still in the same position so remember that Of course, extreme settings, but this would be really cool, probably with some drive. Regeneration was just a little bit, but a little bit too much there. Um, let's see what the manual does. I mean, I'm go I'm doing extreme settings now, so you can actually clearly hear it. You can 
here it's in a lower frequency range, but I have to adjust it. Neat. So, um, let's see what else. Um, do we get, we get this up? You can see it can get a lot of crazy sounds, so I don't think there's any flanger that can get this kind of variety of different flange sounds, and uh, some of them more useful than others. Um, but let's go to the well, feedback knob. It is described in the manual as on positive, the flange sound and the guitar sound are in phase. Okay, so let's see on negative, what are they saying? La la. Negative feedback creates a watery flange sound. Hollow. Hollow is probably the best way to say it. I'm thinking maybe uh, they didn't say what happens. Maybe the phase is reversed. Who knows? So let's switch it to negative. It's definitely hollow. That's definitely what you what you can hear. It sounds a little bit like a formant filter, which means like an I wow wow. This is a formant, or it can create a formant, a voice-like frequency spectrum. And um it sounds a little bit like you know talk box. <laughs> Really cool with some drive. Very cool. And on um, positive and negative, it does well, things that they say other flangers can't really do. Unique things, whatever that means. Let's listen. <laughs> Neat. So, let's go back to positive. Let's try to get some of these settings happening here. Um, on logarithmic, it is an even sounding frequency sweep. On linear, it says the speed speeds up when it goes higher and it slows down when it goes lower 
Let's listen to that to see if we can actually hear this. <laughs> Incredibly nice sounds. Um, let's put that on plus minus. Almost a little bit chorusy, you know? Very nice for this. Without? Oh. So easy to get a beautiful chorus sound out of it. So maybe with the favorite switch, it can replace your chorus. So you get a flanger and a chorus type flanger. <laughs> So two pedals in one, yeah. Um, and let's go to through the zero here. So, as far as programming the uh, favorite switch, it couldn't be easier. You pick a sound you like, let's find one. Let's do standard positive negative with total regeneration and super fast speed for silly sounds. Great, you want to save that, you hit the favorite switch and hold it till it lights up. That's it. Now you can pick any other sound. A little bit overdone here. Great, and now I can switch between them. Not that I would want that sound, but anyway, it's, you know, it's an idea. So, um, as I said, it doesn't really get an awful lot better. This is a digital pedal. Strymon goes beyond high quality. They sample in, if that means something to you, 96K, 24-bit quality. So your guitar signal is being treated in the best way possible, but the guitar signal is never actually being digitized. The real guitar signal, the, the, the clean, pure guitar signal goes through untouched. Um, and then the processing is what is running on 96k 24 bit. That's insane. They come with their own little power supply, which is killer. Um, let me show you something that I thought hopefully you heard in the little uh, track I did is way cool. You can get a sound. I hope I can dial it, dial this in now, which is kind of like a wow, like like you're wiring it, um, but um. You know, for like a solo, and you, you're not actually you know, wiring it. You know, it's just doing the flanges, doing the work for you. Sounded a lot like something Joe Satriani would do. So let's see, we're gonna get a nice high gain sound. Some tape delay.
thing I got to show you which is interesting for those of you who might have a uh, delay pedal that has a an effects loop they exist well yes the Strymon timeline has uh, if you don't want to use it fully stereo the option to change the right and uh, left the, the right in an output to an FX loop where you can put something like the orbit in also uh, I know that the Red Witch um, Titan delay has that and I think the JHS Panther or so I mean some some more high-end delays have that option so let me wire the orbit into the FX loop of the delay because the thing is while you're playing and then the delays are getting flanged based on uh, it's tough tough to it's just gonna be way cool wait so now I wired the uh, orbit into the timeline and no distortion, just some clean stuff. Let's just have a tape delay with some repeats. We'll start simple. See what I'm talking about? And so on and so on and so on so there's a really 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 cool things you can do and um, if you're in the market for a flanger and you have 300 bucks to spend um, they are spent wisely I can only tell you that um, I'll try to make a little comparison video between this and two other ones that I have I only have three of them of course I've got the Mobius but you know it's similar but this has I think some more options and more hands-on options so 
way, way, way too much information about the Strymon Orbit, but you wanted it and you got it from me. So see ya.